Today, we're gonna take a look at this little mini projector, I believe by Amua. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce that or not, but this is a DLP Pico projector and it is absolutely tiny. Um, there's the remote and I promise you, I am not a professional NBA player. I do not have gargantuan hands. It came shipped in this absolutely Apple quality worthy box, the way it was shipped and packaged. Uh, those of you who have Apple product will know what I'm talking about. And I can definitely say I was extremely impressed with the packaging on this unit. Clearly at this size and the fact that it is packed with a battery, which will run it for about an hour and a half, which I have confirmed it will run for about an hour and a half displaying video in uh, lighter projection mode. To access the charging port, you wanna, you'll pull this little rubber cover over the side. You'll also expect access your USB port and your HDMI port right there. To turn it on, you will simply flip the dust cover and then wait five seconds and it will automatically turn on. When you turn it on, it will immediately bring the fan up and it'll start to ramp down at least when you have it on energy saver mode like I do in this current display situation. It is as bright as it will ever get in my studio. You can see even here, I'm not exactly dark. I have all of my overhead lights on. However, I generally don't use this for watching movies, but it is an option. This is projected to about a 40 inch screen right now, just on my art studio wall. It has a touch screen on the top so that all of your functions are accessible through the touch screen. And they are also accessible through the remote. It has mirroring, mirrorcast for Android, and screen mirroring for iOS. Screen mirroring for iOS is usually the way I use this most of the time. You just make sure you are on the same Wi-Fi network as your iOS device, and then it will pop up and you will be able to see it. The focus is an autofocus, so you would hit the focus button in the middle like this, and you can adjust your focus. And we'll see how we'll get, make that a little blurry. So it's electronic focus. I said autofocus, but it's electronic, not automatic. And you can also have a focus button on the remote. I will say it was very difficult to get the remote prepared the first time, but once it paired, it has been just fine. So here it is projecting. Uh, this is one of my videos I made for a tutorial. This is what I do for YouTube. And so this is one of my videos as I'm running this off of AirPlay. Now, people talk all the time about these projectors and they always are like, well, you can't stream um, Netflix from your phone and certain things. You cannot stream any copyrighted information across Miracast or AirPlay. So that would be the, the reason that that happens as the subject comes up all the time. However, you do have um, Netflix and YouTube built into the app in this projector. I'm gonna turn the lights off and we'll see how much of a difference the appearance of this projected image is. Okay, now I'm streaming the same video with the overhead lights off, although it's still fairly bright in this room. As you can see, there's light coming in from the window and there's light coming in from around me. So it's just a, a slightly shade drawn, fairly dim room. Now, one of the issues with any of the DLP Pico projectors is going to be that you cannot adjust the color in the projector. So while you can adjust brightness and things like that, you are not able to adjust the color balance. So if you're not happy with the color, then you're kind of stuck with it unless you change the color balance of your source. But by and far, what I consider the ideal ticket, because of these lightweight and the fact that they will focus at a very small distance away from the surface. As you can see, I have this on just this articulating arm projecting down. 
and projecting down photos so that I can trace them for artwork. And these are absolutely for cookies and cake baking and artists. These are the ideal solution if you're looking to project and trace. They are limited to 480p, or at least one is limited to 480p resolution. Um, there are very, very, very few of these Pico projectors that are DLP that go above that. There are a few, but they're considerably more expensive, and I consider this a great buy. Um, I have also the Vankio Burger, which is no longer available widespread at least and this is actually twice as bright in its highest setting the downside is the fan does get pretty noisy if you display it at its highest brightness but everything i displayed today was at power saver mode so there you have it if you know if displaying movies is your primary function i would go with a much more expensive projector and a much larger projector as a matter of fact in today's day and age i would probably start looking towards laser but they are rather expensive but if portability is very important to you and keeping that cost down that's they're not a bad option for displaying movies and slide screens and things like that in a portable manner However, the real ticket for these are for displaying artwork so you can focus in really close because you can actually project an image down, you know, below 11 by 14. You can project up to a three foot by four foot image to project and trace your artwork. 